Hey there, last time I showed you how to install a Fallout 4 mod using the in-game menu from Bethesda Net. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Fallout 4 mod from Nexus using Nexus Mod Manager. Let's begin. Alright, and this is Nexus Mod Manager. What you're looking at here is the tool that you would use to install mods in Fallout 4 on the PC. The button to click the game. You can also start it with the um, you can also start the game with the script extender. I don't have that installed here. Nothing uses it yet. But I'm certain now that the creative kit is out. There will be mods that will require the script extender. And at the moment, nothing does. Everything's been made with Fallout 4 Edit and other tools. And every one of these that I have here was made with those. And I've installed several. This is small compared to the number of mods that a lot of people install on, in their game. There are some people who would install up to a hundred mods or more and they have to have special tools additional tools to handle load order which I don't have those here but loot is one of those tools body slide is for the special models the CBB um, CBBE models for rearranging the clothing and textures and Fallout 4 edit is of course the tool that I that was in the last video that was used to create a lot of these mods okay. and it's, it, there's not that much to it uh, you have an update you can change the game these are the games that Nexus supports with mods. There are some add-ons for Elder Scrolls Online on Nexus, but not as many as there are on Minion. I'll show you that at some point. Help. These are the helper programs I showed you just a moment ago. Tips. Settings. Just your average default settings. profiles you can set up multiple profiles with different mod different mods enabled you can check for updates for your mods change views this is the plugins tab this is where you can drag around the plugins the mods to change load order and then you can enable and disable them here just by clicking this or enabling them all by clicking this. Simple. Pretty simple. Now to install mods, the mod manager integrates with your browser. And I'm going to show you that now. And we are here on the Nexus mod site. And this is the this is their Fallout 4 page. They do support other games, as I said. And they have main banner here that shows the latest and hottest new mods, news, big news about the creation kit. And you can do a search or you can chat, check out the forums, see what other files they have. Now we want to install a mod. Now I'm already signed in to my account and mine is a premium account. Now I don't have reoccurring payments. What I did was I paid the one time small fee for lifetime account. It's not that much. Uh, it's about, if I recall, about $60 lifetime fee. You don't have to pay anymore and you get your account, you know, basically forever. You don't have to do that in order to use uh, Nexus Mod, but it helps. All right? So we want to find a mod to install with Nexus Mod Manager. 
go to files and go to category so we can browse files or we can check by category i've already found one that i want to install and it looked interesting so let's go down to audio sound effects and you can there there are mods that change just about everything you can make the you know make the generators the electrical generators quieter add new ambient sound effects make your power armor sound like Voltron make the rain louder changing the audio for your weapons for computers and there's there's all sorts here there's all sorts of different different um, audio mods the one I want to install is this one. I think this one's pretty neat. And what this does is it makes your power armor sound like a car when you're getting, getting in and out of it. So, let's install this. Now, to install it, you can either manually download it. And if you manually download a mod, you can then go here, click this, and browse to the file that you've downloaded and it will install it but we're going to download it using the nexus nexus mod link you click this and in chrome we'll say launch application we'll go back down the nexus mod manager and you'll see it's already downloaded it but it hasn't installed it yet you have to click the check and it's installed. And right now, 99% of your mods install this way very easily. Now, some have a config window that comes up that allows you to choose settings and options. Those are the more complex mods. There are some out there that do this. And now that the creation kit is out, we're going to start seeing a lot more complex mods that have these config screens when you install them, where you can choose options. So, most of these mods are pretty simple. This one was easy to install. It's not difficult. Don't let people tell you that it is. Modding on PC is complicated. It's not. It can be, depending on what the mod is, what the... Um, person's trying to do what they're allowed to upload to Nexus mods. There's certain restrictions of what Nexus mods will and will not allow as to file types because they don't want people distributing stuff that could potentially be harmful on the computer. But uh, you won't be able to... You can download... ENB presets, but you can't actually download the actual ENB with the DLL files on Nexus mods, for instance. So that was that was installing a mod for Fallout 4. All right, now let's find out what this mod looks like in the game. Okay, we're here in the game, so let's find out what this mod does. <laughs> that is so cool. I've been wanting that. So, that is mods for Fallout 4 on the PC. Um, you'll probably be able to find this mod on Bethesda Net at some point. As I said in the last video, most of those mods are going to be contributed by people who post to Nexus. Now, not all of them. There will be a lot of new people, but... Nexus Mods is a pretty large community, so you're going to start seeing a lot more stuff on Bethesda Net. It's small right now because it just got started, and, but by the time mods become a, fully available on console, which is soon, you'll see a much larger list than what there was before. And if you're on PC, oh god, you've got hundreds to choose from. You have literally hundreds. So, have fun. This is how you install mods on Fallout 4 on PC. Thanks for watching.